Or to put out for my liking, the one and only Mr. Daniel Bennett! Yay! Standing on Tottenham Court Road on Saturday, looking through a um, shop front window at a psychedelic glowing white Christmas tree covered in flashing lights, which was um, situated on a table. And I thought, imagine coming from another planet without trees and that was the first thing that you experienced on the planet Earth <laughs> you know seeing that glowing white Christmas tree with flashing lights and everything Is there anybody here in, in that situation tonight? <laughs> no. <laughs> because I was, I was going to say that if, if, if that was you in, in that situation, um, and maybe there is someone here in that situation tonight, but you know, I've spoken up. Because... Um, You've only been on the planet Earth for three days, trying really hard to blend in, and I've already almost compromised your identity. <laughs> that um, not not all trees on Earth are like that one. They don't all grow out of tables. Some trees grow by um, means outlined in the poem that I've written. And it's called a poem for London City. There is a place for a tree in London City. It is neither here nor there, but in a space between a building and another building. It grows there on its own, because on its own is all there is space for, and either side of it, roads, roads and buildings on either side of it, surrounded by roads and buildings, buildings under renovation, in need of timber, and brick. But there wasn't a brick to be found growing in a space in London City. There's a uh, sense of irony at the end there, I don't know. Picked up on it. It's quite subtle. Perhaps that was part of the irony. <laughs> a little bit. Maybe half. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was that.
we're rapidly approaching that, that time of the year when people uh, like to spend time with other people who are dear to them. And I thought, well, what better than a poem about um, spending time with someone who is dear to you? So I pinned this next piece uh, to try and sort of capture the essence of um, endearment over the Christmas period. Hold me dear, hold me close, hold me close to your chest, your breast, your heart, your beating heart, your aching, breaking, beating, bleeding heart, and I'll push my ear against your chest as you hold me there, my dear, and I'll listen to every blood-soaked note that reminds me of how I care, and that I love you deeper than the bullet hole in your chest, that I try to plug with my finger, but my finger's still on the trigger, and the fingers of my other hand still on the handle of the dagger, which I hold there in the event that you struggle, prompting the need to finish you quickly and quietly with an adjacent motion to the throat so as not to distress you with the violence of another gunshot. Because that's how much I love you, my dear. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs>